much for joining me today. I'm just extremely passionate about today's video. If you read the title, if you follow me on socials, you know that it comes to no surprise that today's video is dedicated to so many things. Number one, um, it's no secret that Jennifer Lopez is a beauty icon. However, However, behind every beauty icon is her iconic makeup artist, her iconic stylist, her iconic PR manager, her iconic hairstylist. There is a team that goes behind the magic and most of the time they are the ones to give the credit to. Today's video, drum roll please, oh my God, I cannot believe this is happening. First of all, I have pretty much completely done a, three, a 180 on how I do my makeup and I have Scott Barnes to blame. He's underrated AF and he got brought to the forefront when he recently started collaborating with Tati Westbrook who has like 10 million plus subscribers on YouTube. I love Tati. It's nice when the, the, the professionals can get on camera and speak to the consumer, speak to the average person. You know, at the end of the day, they have their secrets, they have their tricks up their sleeve and they have their way of doing it. There's a reason they're booked by these celebrities, right? He is originally an artist. He never really did makeup until someone told him he should um, when they were working with him on a, on a different project. Like someone said he should try to do makeup. Initially, he wasn't good at it. So Scott Barnes, being the perfectionist that he is, decided to pursue um, the craft and perfect it, obviously. And here he is today. He is not only Jennifer Lopez's makeup artist, he does many, many different celebrities, um, red carpet looks, stage looks, performance. He's all about, you know, working with the light and he's all about, you know, he's a multi media based makeup artist that's the best way to put Scott it. Barnes recently launched a makeup line hello um, a lot of the makeup you have seen on Jennifer Lopez herself um, speaking of JLo okay I'm serving Jenny from the blog what I'm saying on the 6 NYC waiting for tonight okay we got the little the baby hairs we got the mousse okay the scrunchy curls the big hoops we cannot forget the big hoops we we, we don't have any eye makeup on right now but that's because that's what we're gonna do today on this video first of all when I think of Jennifer Lopez Scott Barnes they're like the dream team right um Scott Barnes will slay her face in a way that is so different from what you see all over the internet today. It kind of has like an effortless approach to makeup. I am just so excited today to dive into his makeup for the first time, you guys. Oh my God. Um, so this is the package I got in the mail. Um, I went online and I basically got something that I knew I could incorporate in my kit as well. Um, something that my clients can also enjoy, okay? And this is me. First impressions, okay, we get a little paper, a little receipt. Oh my God, look how cute. Oh my God. First of all, this packaging, it's like, it feels, it feels luxury, okay? It says Scott Barnes on the front in gold print. His little logo on the back, scottbarnes.com. Instagram at Scott Barnes 68 has all his info. So I ordered the 60. It's an eye and lip contour brush. Okay. This is like his famous brush and you can use it to contour lips and you can use it to really define the eyes with eyeshadow eyeliner. I'm so excited. This is like one of his staple brushes. Okay. Now we get to open up the package. What do we have inside? I'm so excited. Look it, it says XOXO hugs and kisses from the man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, the icon, Scott motherfucking Barnes. You know what? I'm so shocked that not a lot of influencers are reviewing his makeup. That tells me that Scott Barnes is really doing something in the industry when people are not sh shining light on him. I think he hit like 500,000 followers on Instagram. So he's growing, honey, and he's doing all that without support of all these influencers. He's he's creating his own wave, right? And people like me see that and I admire that and I love that he's doing something different and his makeup is probably <laughs> shitting on all, I mean, it is pricey. It's definitely, this is definitely my most expensive eyeshadow palette. I'll say it here, you heard it here first. This is going in my kit as the most luxurious, expensive palette. Um, the shadows in this eye, eyeshadow palette have been seen on Jennifer Lopez. Like he legit uses this palette on her. Um, it's a little sleeve, okay? 
Very, very nice packaging with the kisses. I love this. This is so freaking cute. And the Snatural Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette by none other than Scott Mother Effin Barnes. Okay, look how sexy this looks. It feels heavy. It's very crisp and sleek with like clean edges. Oh, girl, look at that. The mirror is very good quality. It's very heavy, okay? It's not heavy, heavy, but it's heavy. And it says, be the most beautiful version of yourself right here on the mirror. Isn't that adorable? These eyeshadow pans are so much bigger than I thought they were. They look huge, snatural. So basically you have all of your everyday wearable tones. You also have pops of metallics, really strong. I can't wait to play with this formula. You have your neutrals and then you have like your deep tone, your deeper tones to add dimension, to add drama. Take your day look to a night look all in one palette uh, along with, with the brush. Some of the shade names are Brick House, Silver Screen, Femi, Nightcap, Hollywood, <laughs> risque, starlet, vintage, angelic, saucy. When I think of JLo, I think of bronze bombshells. So we're gonna take this natural palette, we're gonna dip into the formula, play with it a little bit. We're gonna do an eye look. Uh, stay tuned, you guys. I'm so excited about this. Oh my God, look at this, beautiful. Scott Barnes, you outdid yourself. <laughs> All right, so for my bronze bombshell, Jennifer Lopez inspired makeup, I'm going, I legit have, all these brushes in front of me. We're gonna first take the shade Vintage right here, okay? We're gonna dip into it, ooh, a little powdery, that's okay. We're just gonna lightly go in the crease. Oh, already blending like a freaking dream. Oh my God, it feels so good. <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm using some high-end product right now. I don't even know what it is. Maybe I'm biased, maybe I'm a fangirl. Um, yeah, I'm living for how effortless this freaking eyeshadow, oh my God, I cannot, I can't. We're gonna now go into Brick House, which is like a warm tone brown. Okay, again, powdery, but that's okay. That just means that there's hella pigment. It's all about how the eyeshadow performs. Don't worry about no powdery eyeshadows. We don't, we don't, we don't criticize for that exactly. But look how this blends, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put some translucent powder on really quick. I like using the Morphe contour sponge for this because it just has like that sharp edge, you know? She's a brick house. You already know Scott Barnes was thinking of that song when he named that eyeshadow, okay? We see you. <laughs> Hella pigment, but not overwhelming pigment. Cause like you, like I said, it blends out like a freaking dream. Okay. Oh yes. Let's shape the eyeshadow a little bit. Okay. Look at that. I cannot Scott Barnes? What are you doing to me? Now I gotta buy all your makeup products. Why did? Let me use the brush now. I'm gonna bring in this brush. See how it's like a slim angled tip. Delicious, it feels heavy. Look at my Scott Barnes brush. That black shade, Sin. And I'm gonna tighten up that black line just a tad. And I'm gonna go into the outer corner of our crease and blend a little bit of that black color in there as well to add some dimension, okay? And then I'm going to close my eye and do this, okay? So far, so good, you guys. I'm not playing. Now, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna take the shade Siren, okay, for the ultimate bronze, Bronx bronze bombshell look ever. We're going to place that on the lid. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, right now I'm basically using a brush just to kind of cup the lid a little bit. Finger, going in with the shade Hollywood. Hollywood is now gonna be on the outer, the outer edge of the lid. See how that adds a different dimension there? Oh, if this doesn't say JLo, I don't know what does, honey. 
I'm testing these eyeshadows, seeing how they really work by doing moves like this, okay? Like how does the black perform in the crease? How does, how do the shadows work together? All that. Okay, so dust this little brush off. I'm gonna take the shade Muted. I'm just gonna dust that outer edge. Like, you know, we, we always gotta blend. Going back in with that little tapered brush with Brick House and adding that brown definition right back in. I am living my Scott Barnes J Lo fantasy right now. Now we're just gonna wing it out slightly. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I'm gonna use another one too. We're gonna add Laced in the inner corner, which is like that champagne kind of a color. Laced right there. We're gonna pop that here. Ooh, yeah. Lace is like that iconic highlighter color. See that? Oops, I got too excited and skipped a few steps. Oh well. Okay, so now we're going to take our fingers again and go back in with the other eye and put the shade here. Siren, Siren is amazing. Hollywood. Going back in with Sin, or uh, yeah, Sin. Oh, honey. Redefining that outer corner a little bit. And again, going in with the black for that dimension. This eyeshadow palette is in a league of its own. Like, it just blends crazy, beautiful. Like, and this is my bad eye. Or is it, or is it my other eye? I don't know, I have a bad eye. I can't think of which one it is right now. My bad eye always gives me problems blending. And right now, I don't seem to have any problems blending. So what does that tell you? Okay, now I'm gonna take Muted again and we're gonna buff out that outer edge. Amazing, ah, uh, freaking amazing. Amazing, this palette, this palette. This palette speaks for itself, like on another level, like no lie. I'm shook, I'm deceased. This is probably my first luxury eyeshadow, like no lie. It makes me wanna buy all of his products cause I already know. Yeah, so, so good. Okay, now I'm gonna take some eyeliner. I'm just gonna kind of go around the perimeter, right along the lash line. Mm -hmm. Just to give your lashes something to sit on. I'm just gonna wing it out like that. Okay. These shadows are so good that they cut your crease for you. Waiting for tonight. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so we're gonna take that shade Brick house again. Tap it. Oh, I forgot I could use this mirror. Girl, I'm tripping. Uh-uh. Okay. Take the shade Risque, which is this like lighter brown right here. Okay. Right there. And I'm gonna dip into that for the first time. So we're in, we're using like eight different colors in here. It's beautiful. Damn it, Scott Barnes. Why do you have to be so legendary? Okay. Bamboo for the waterline. I just love how it opens up your eye. All right, we're gonna add these lashes and be done. We're back with my final thoughts. 
I don't even know what to say at this point other than this is by far, by far the best eyeshadow makeup palette that I have. It is so, so good. And I'm really not surprised. Um, Scott Barnes did his thing. I didn't think he would do anything less than this. This is amazing. You guys really have to trust that these makeup artists know, they know what good makeup is. Clearly he has passion for it. Clearly he knows what the hell he's doing. Honestly, I don't think Scott Barnes can do any wrong. He's amazing and I'm so, so proud of this palette. I'm so happy I own it. I can't wait to try more of his products. I'm a believer that his makeup works. I just tried it. Look at this eye look. Um, it's very JLo inspired, very waiting for tonight. I'm living my Selena's fantasy right now, okay? Selena rocked this exact hairstyle when she performed Dreaming of You in the movie, right? She had like that, that high curly ponytail. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram. Let's be friends. Let's get connected. Book me for your next big event, your wedding, your quinceanera, whatever you want to look good for. I'm your girl. I'm a Los Angeles-based makeup artist. I humbly come at your service. <laughs> I can't think of another way to start the year other than this right here. This this palette is near and dear to me. Um, can't wait to, like I said, use these on my clients. It's going to be amazing. I really love how this look came out. I'm gonna be using this palette like crazy. This is not the last time you will see this baby, okay? I'm happy I got to use <clears throat> his brush, his brush today. I can't wait to use his brush for lips because you can also use this to contour your lips. Thank you guys again. Catch you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Thanks again. Bye. Mwah. Thank you.